I had a, uh, the opportunity to visit India just a few months ago as we began our planning uh, for this meeting, for the bilateral U.S.-India Economic and Financial uh, Partnership meetings taking place here in Washington. And I was struck first and foremost by the aspirations and the entrepreneurship of young Indians. I uh, had a uh, particularly special time uh, in a village called Sitara, just a few hours uh, outside of Pune, with a women's rural cooperative bank named Mandeshi. Uh, at Mandeshi, they're using education, technology, and innovation to deliver financial services and insurance and pension services to women, many of whom have access to these services for the first time. And as a result, these women entrepreneurs are creating jobs, while also providing stronger foundations for their children to lead better lives. It was uh, a great uh, learning experience for me and also a wonderful uh, example of uh, how partnership between our two countries uh, leads to innovation that works in both. I also traveled to a cell tower where U.S. solar panels and batteries were working in partnership with Indian innovation to provide power in a way that was both green and cost effective while helping to spread mobile telephony to India's rural communities with potential, I think, for the spread not just in India but all over um, agricultural communities in some of the poorest parts of the world. These are just a few of the hundreds of amazing stories of U.S. Uh, entrepreneurs and uh, innovations joining with those from India, not only to create new markets uh, but also to help young families uh, achieve their dreams. And they are a testament to the potential of our burgeoning economic and commercial relationship. As uh, the ambassador said, Indian exports to the U.S., U.S. exports to India have increased multiple times over the last decade alone. And combined bilateral U.S.-India foreign direct investment grew by 165% over the last five years alone. These are striking statistics. But we cannot afford to be complacent. Make no mistake, they represent only a fraction of what is possible in the U.S.-India relationship.